Hi, I am Karina Watias and I am running for Provo City Council. Provo is the best city anywhere and it is absolutely my favorite place to live. I've lived a lot of places, but we always come back to Provo. I grew up here, I went to Edgemont, Ferrer, Timview, and BYU, so I'm homegrown and I love this town. I love the direction that Provo is going. I think we have a lot of momentum. We're at the top of a lot of lists for a lot of great reasons and I wanna keep that going. I'm running because I want Provo to keep going, to keep its momentum. I want to make sure that this is a place where we can keep raising our families so that they can stay here and live here too. I want to make sure that we are serving our economically underserved areas. I want to make sure that we are taking care of our west side, including a west side grocery store. I'm concerned about businesses in Provo. I want to make sure that we have enough retail to support the city that we want, the city of the future. I want to make sure that we're keeping businesses in Provo, making it easier for businesses to stay here, to relocate here, and to grow here. So Vision 2030 was something that a bunch of citizens in the community came together to help design the future of what we all want Provo to look like. And there are things on there like making sure that our parks are serving our families, making sure that our water supplies are working, taking a look at our infrastructure, making sure that it can support the city that we want, making sure that we have the health care, the education, the transportation that will bring us into the future. And I support most of the Vision 2030 plan. I love what it says about making sure that we're keeping our heritage, that we're keeping an eye on faith, that we're making sure that our families love that where we live. Um, I am concerned that we aren't going far enough in making sure that we are setting up a city that will work for everyone, making sure that underserved communities are going to be taken care of, making sure that we're bridging any kind of cultural gaps that are out there. I would love to see more done on transportation and making sure that our infrastructure is being taken care of. And that's what I think about Vision 2030. So the Municipal Council is a legislative body that passes um, ordinances, that approves funding, that sets goals for where it wants the city to go. And the administration, meaning the mayor's office, should be executing against those goals and supporting us in making sure that we're building the kind of Provo that we all want going forward. My ideal relationship doesn't have to be buddy-buddy and cozy-cozy, but it doesn't have to be adversarial either. I think that even though the council and the mayor might disagree on maybe 10% on things, that still means that we can work together to achieve 90% of our goals. And I think as long as the mayor and the city council keep an open communicative, communicative relationship, that we can really do great things together. So if I'm elected, residents can expect that I will work to keep the momentum of the city going. I want to keep us moving forward. I want to make sure that this is a great place for us to raise our families, that education, that transportation, that everything in the community is aligned to build Provo in a smart and sustainable way. I want to make sure that the west side is being taken care of. I have so many friends who live over on the west side of Provo who really want a grocery store, who really feel an acute need for services in their area. And I want to make sure that I, as a city council person, am working towards fulfilling those needs and fulfilling those goals and doing what I can to make sure that every citizen in Provo is being taken care of. The great thing about the RAP tax is it's probably going to be on the November ballot so that all of us as citizens of Provo can decide whether or not we want a RAP tax. So in that way, it doesn't really matter what I think about the RAP tax, it matters what you think about the RAP tax. If you want to see it enacted, if you want to raise revenues to make sure that our parks, our recreation, and our arts are being taken care of. For me personally, I'll be voting for the wrap tax for my family. I want to make sure that our parks are great places where I can take my children, that aging infrastructures like playgrounds are being maintained and being taken care of. I want to make sure that our recreation center still has the resources it needs to continue to reply to, to give services to the city. And of course, our arts are really important. I want to make sure that our kids and our families and our a community have access to great artistic programs, that the Covey Center is being supported, that we really grow the art space in Provo. I really want to make sure that when we're talking about the wrap tax, 
that we know that this is something that we get to vote on. And if you don't want to don't if you don't want to see the wrap tax, that is your vote. And the city council will need to abide by that. Okay, so the budget is something that Provo City agonizes over and that the city council really takes a look at. The city council works together with the mayor to come up with the budget as we move forward. We know that those resources are not only scarce and precious, but they're your tax dollars at work. We have some infrastructure problems moving forward. We're gonna to need to take a look at our water, our electrical, and some of those basic city services that we wanna to provide to each and every one of us as citizens. And so I agree with the way that the budget is structured so far so that we can take a look at making sure that our utilities are going to be working, making sure that we're not going to have any catastrophic needs that will come up that we can't budget for, and then taking a look at the future of Provo. So I think that the budget is moving in the right direction. There are a few tweaks that I would like to see. There are a few concerns that I have, but I think that the budget is a good step forward. And of course, if you have concerns about the budget, I think the city council wants to hear from us and wants to make sure that they are using our money, our hard earned money, to come up with the services, to meet our needs, to move us forward as a city. I'm Karina and I'm running for city council because I wanna keep Provo moving forward. Let's keep our momentum. Let's keep this a place where we all want to live, where we wanna raise our children. Let's keep this place the wonderful, incredible, vibrant city that it is and keep growing into the future. Thank you.